What up YouTube? My name is Marvin and today we're going to be What up YouTube? My name is Marvin and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your electric guitar strings. Today we're going to be changing the strings on an Ibanez RG2EX1. Beautiful guitar. But one problem, it doesn't have strings. So we're going to change that. Okay, this method that I'm going to show you is just my own personal method to uh, change strings. It's a very simple process. Uh, a couple things that you might want to get. Number one, you might want one of these uh, mats to lay your guitar on just so you have a nice surface so you don't scratch the finish. It also keeps the guitar from moving. You can also get one of these from Music Nomad. It's, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically a thing to hold your guitar up. It holds it by the neck. There's different profiles. You can switch it to different sides, so you have, you know, for different sizes, different types. Works for basses as well. Uh, maybe a napkin or just something to wipe your guitar because since you have the strings off, you can clean it, get into those nook and crannies that you can normally reach. I'd also recommend something like this, the Dunlop O2 uh, fret conditioner. It doesn't have to be this one specifically, but I don't know why that won't focus. But the Dunlop O2 conditioner is a good one to get. Since you have your strings up, you might also think about polishing your frets, which extends fret life and also makes bends easier. You can get this version. This is the Frine by Music Nomad. I'm not affiliated with Music Nomad or anything, but they make some pretty good stuff, which is why I have so many of their products here. And a string winder, just to, uh, you know, make it quicker. Now, first thing I would say is to clean up the guitar. Just wipe away any crud, anything that you know that should not be on the guitar since you have the strings off. I've already cleaned the fretboard beforehand so I'm not going to do it in this video. If you want a video showing how to do that, leave a like or tell me in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. The so next stop, so you need your strings. I'm going to be using uh, the Dario's, it's just the ones that I like to use. You also need a mask so the strings don't break in your face. I'm just kidding. You don't need this. But Still be careful because strings might break in your face. In this particular guitar, you can see that the bridge is through the body. You have six holes in the back, and just remember that each one corresponds kind of opposite what you would expect. So the E string, the biggest string, will go through the first one, but it's the last hole when you flip it over because everything gets reversed. So E, A, D, G, B, E. Another thing I like to do before I put the strings through, your tuning machines face all of the holes going this way. So the opening is here, so that the strings can pass straight through. It'll make it easier when you're changing your strings. Oh, duh, I have a string winder. So when I, when I change my strings, I always start from the lowest to highest, meaning the thickest string to the thinnest. I don't know why, that's just the way I do it. You can do whatever you want, but I just like to start with the E string. The Dario has a cool thing where all the strings are color-coded by the ends, the ball ends of the string. So that helps to keep you from getting confused. So the E string is the brass string. So that's gonna go first. You take the pointy end, and don't stab yourself because it's actually kind of sharp. Pop it through that last hole, like I said, which corresponds to the first hole on the other side. And you can see it going through, like a slinky or whatever. And just pull it through. When you get to the tuning machines, put it through the first one, which is for the E string. And this is what I do when I'm getting my strings ready. First, make sure in the back of the guitar, that it went all the way through. Sometimes the ball end will get caught around here and it'll stick out and when you go to tune it, it's just not gonna be correct and it's gonna be annoying to fix later. So after that, pull on it pretty good just to make sure it's all the way up. Pull this up nice and tight but not too tight. Make sure that this and everything is going through correctly. Pull from the very top of the nut, just so you can see that. Pull back one fret like that and that's where you're gonna hold it. After you hold it there, 
Generally, I hold the string and I bend it up just a little bit, just so it stays, because the strings tend to do that. And you're gonna notice the other side is slack, but that's okay. You hold that, take your, your uh, tuner, your automatic tuner thing, and you're gonna tune it, well, turn it, and hold this down at the same time, like this. Sorry, it's a little bit close. Just like that. You're gonna see the string's gonna automatically follow. One thing you need to watch out for is to make sure that it's winding from top to bottom. And I'll show you that in one second. So you see, it starts at the top and goes down to the bottom. So here, it goes from top to bottom. That's important because when it goes from bottom to top, you can get tuning instability issues. Then, you can take your string cutters, which I forgot to mention in the video, I'm sorry, you need string cutters, and you're gonna cut them right there. As close as you can, and that's it. You've done your first string. So now you're gonna continue this process for the next string, but I'm gonna show you something about the B and the E string, the two thinnest strings. There's something weird that's gonna happen using my method. the G string right now. Ha ha ha, G string, shut up. Now, as the strings start to get thinner, you need to be a little more careful when they're winding through the tuning pegs because they tend to kind of just do whatever they feel like. They don't always want to wind the way that you want them to wind. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna show you a close up of the B and the E string. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about in my method of winding. Pull it up, same thing, get it through the tuning peg. Now, take a close look at this. We're still gonna pull back on the fret, like I told you. Well, not on the fret, but bring it back one fret, like I told you before. Bend it up. And as you start to wind, you're gonna notice the string is gonna start doing whatever it feels like doing, and just try to keep it from doing that. And the way that I do it is by bending the string in weird ways at the where it meets the tuning peg, like so, something like this. As you're doing that, try to keep the pressure on your hands down here. It also helps to keep it within the, uh, the slot on the nut, so that way it can stay in place. Start to wind it, and you're gonna see, yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Start to do things like that. So you can hold it, like so. It might look all crinkly and weird, but trust me, it's gonna come out just fine as you start winding. The pressure of the tuning peg in combination with the string pulling on the body actually smooths it out into that nice round uh, string look that you're used to seeing. And as you hold it down, you're gonna feel the pressure coming back up and that's all you want. As long as you're getting it going from top to bottom, you're in good shape. By the way, still got a good tuned uh, string. Now onto our last one. I'm gonna go through that again just so you can see how this one is gonna change and get even more annoying than that last string. Once again, the back of the guitar, make sure you put it through the right hole. This is the very last string. Get it all the way through so that goes right up. Bring this down, like I said, through the tuning peg. I'm repeating myself, but that's how you learn. Pull back one fret, hold it down, bend it up, so you get that little corner. Probably bend that a little bit more because that is kind of weak. That or something, just to hold it there. Take your winder, start winding, 
an older dial with a wires. This one's going to start getting weird. I can already see it. Never mind. It's actually listening. The best string changing. The best string changing I'm having right now because the strings usually don't stay in place. They usually just do whatever they want. And as you see, the strings automatically come out by themselves. And if you're doubtful, if it goes from top to bottom, you can always hold it as I'm doing right here. And you can see as it tightens up, it looks nice and professional. And that's it. All you have left to do is to cut your last string. Oh, got a little bit left over. Hold on. You want to get this as close as you can get it when you cut the strings because those little corners, they seem like they're not a problem, but they are. You get stabbed by that, you're gonna go to the doctor and cry, because it hurts. So now you probably think you're done because you got your strings on and you can just tune it and play. Mm -mm, doesn't work like that. Now that you have your strings on, what you wanna do is tune it to pitch. After you tune it to pitch, this is gonna sound crazy, but trust me, you're gonna grab the string and pull on it just like this. See that? I'm gonna bring it up. See how it's coming up like that? And do that for every string. Do it about twice. Some people do it a lot more than that. I only do it about twice. What you want to do is stretch the string because this is fresh metal that needs to be stretched a little bit so that it can actually hold its pitch. Fresh strings won't hold tune very well because they need to get to their proper elasticity, I guess you could say. I don't know how to explain it, but it works. Don't pull on it too hard because then you're gonna break it and then it's gonna slap you in the face and that's your fault. Just pull on it with some force, but not too much. You could figure it out. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Nice and clean. As you can see, nothing in the back. Sticking out. The wines are very far even across the board. Let's get it closer. See how the wines are? Just like that. That's what you're looking for. So it's nice and clean. Even the little bits where you cut them, they're not sticking out too much because that can stab you and that hurts. So you choose your tuning. I prefer to do drop Q, but you do whatever tuning you want. And that's it. If you like this video, uh, please leave a comment. Tell me the ways that you guys like to change your strings. And if you want me to do any more tutorials on basic stuff, like basic setups and everything. This guitar, I'm gonna have to actually intonate it and change, adjust the neck and everything. So if you want a video like that, I'm not an expert, but I could show you how to do that. You can save a ton of money instead of going to your guitar tech. Anywho. Thank you for checking out my video and have a great day.